Hey guys, Kira with Crafty Cosplay here, and I've got a whole new series of tutorials to share with you for my new Madame Olivia from Sea of Thieves cosplay. Be sure to check out the playlist in the description for all the videos and stay tuned for future ones. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created the necklace that all the Order of Souls merchants wear. I started off with some silver polymer clay and flattened it out. Then I traced my template and cut it out. If you'd like to use it, I'll have a link to the template down in the description below. Then I had to add the jewel. I found these glass beads at Michael's that were the perfect square shape. I took one off the strand and centered it on the necklace like so. Then I pressed it down into the clay a little bit to secure it and with some more clay I built up the sides. Once all of that was smoothed out, I used one of my tools to create the etched lines on the sides. With some wire, I created these loops and carefully stuck them into the clay at the top of the pendant. This is how I strung the necklace. However, I didn't make the stems on them long enough and they came out after baking, but I was just able to glue them back in. Then I baked it according to the clay's instructions on the package and let it cool. Even though I used silver polymer clay, it still wasn't the right color. 
So I took some of this awesome brushed metal paint from Folk Art in dark gray and painted the entire thing. Then for some highlights, I used another brushed metal paint in pale silver. For the jewel, I used the Folk Art Color Shift paint in Emerald Flash. The stones for the Order of Souls merchants are usually a dark red, but Madame Olivia's is this vibrant green in Tall Tales. I liked the contrast better, so I chose the green. It took a few coats, but I painted the jewel, waiting for each coat to fully dry in between. Then taking another brushed metal paint, this time in black, I added some details to the silver and distressed it lightly. Once everything was completely dry, I did a quick coat of Mod Podge to seal it all. To string it, I used some brown faux leather cord and wire, adding a simple toggle clasp. As you can see, the loops popped out, but I secured them with some super glue.
Then it was all done. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and check me out on social. Also, feel free to have a look at all the other Sea of Thieves cosplay tutorials in the playlist linked below. See you next time!